What's up, fam? Hope everybody's doing fantastic out there. Tonight, we are back again with another fantastic uh, budget banger. Um, this is one I'm really excited about. It is from our good friend David with Orion Knives, Blade Banter. You also see him um, working with the QSB. He is QSB USA on Instagram as well. So uh, he's got so many irons in the fire, it's not even funny. But uh, yeah, this guy is another awesome human being. I've had the pleasure of talking with him quite a few times at Blade Show and then on various live streams and whatnot. So without any further uh, ado whatsoever here, we are taking a look at the Orion Knives Ares. Uh, so this knife is currently available. Uh, you're looking at 89 bucks for this thing. So it does fall into that budget category. You guys remember, for my budget knives, I've said that under 100 bucks counts as a budget knife to me. So it does come with this nice little exploded view here, and then it's his uh, warranty card. Now, this particular one did come with a poker chip. is one of the first 500 purchased, so uh, that is awesome. I definitely appreciate that. So we're going to go ahead and slide all this stuff out of the way here. And let's see here. Go ahead and take a look at the knife itself. So a couple of pretty uh, interesting things. Of course, you can see it is a pivot lock design here. I believe this is the fourth. This is the fourth design from Orion. Uh, so it's the fourth star in the constellation, if you will. Uh, you do see we have a G10 blade, or excuse me, a G10 handles, uh, G10 backspacers and everything. Let's go ahead and crack on in to the close-ups here. So there you can take a look. You do have some really nice uh, semi-flush hardware. It's not quite perfectly flush. It does kind of stick up just a little bit. Some very interesting texture on the G10. Uh, it's not a texture that I am familiar with or I'm used to, but it's uh, it's kind of bi-directional. So it does give you some decent traction, but it's not, it's grippy, but it's not rough, if that makes any sense. And this knife carries extremely, extremely well. Um, I've had this for uh, a little while. I got it as soon as I could when it released, and uh, it has been in the pocket several times. Uh, it does look like we are working with T8 hardware all the way around. You do have a titanium pocket clip. It is reversible. Now, what's cool about this is if you do not like the uh, titanium milled clip, you can use any uh, any clip, Para 3 clip. So uh, any of the uh, Para, uh, Spyderco Para 3 clips will work with this knife. So even if uh, you wanted to do a uh, Para 3 uh, Lynch Northwest clip, whatever, uh, as long as it's one of their uh, ones that goes into the wire clip spot for a Para 3, it will work, um, which is really cool. Let's go ahead and crack into the blade here. So we have a stonewashed, uh, sort of a, a modified American Tonto blade here. And you're looking at 14C28N. It is a three, just over a three and a half inch blade, 3.58 inches. Um, do have a black wash. He does offer it in a satin blade as well, or stone wash. I can't remember which, um, but you do have a non-coated blade option as well. Uh, full length fuller here. That is your only opening mechanism on the blade. And there you have your uh, Orion logo. A little bit of a swedge coming down. Now it is a compound grind, so you do have a hollow grind here. Flat grind on your tip. There you can see the 14C. Blade grind looks to be really good. Now I have used this knife, so you might have to forgive some imperfections. And then your plunge grind looks pretty good. It is a tad late on the plunge grind, so it does end a little late. So you're going to get a bit of a smile as you go a little bit um, into that plunge grind, but you do have plenty of room for sharpening there. Um, you don't have to worry about bumping all the way up into that plunge grind, but you will get a smile after a couple of sharpenings. Um, looks like we have a bit of a, just kind of an off grind there at the tip. You guys can see that. Um, that's not something you would notice unless you were zoomed in this far. Um, but the tip itself on the Tonto looks to be nice and straight. Very strong pronounced tip there. Um, go ahead and look on the inside here. You can see the mechanism. So it is a wedge lock system. So you push the button in and it actually pushes that lock face over. So the, um, the lock bar moves against the button so you push the button in and the lock bar moves out so uh, very interesting design there now this is uh, oem'd by a company called uh, cqo uh, now it's not one that many people will be familiar with however uh, if you are in the knife community you will probably be aware of defcon knives and the uh, the truffles which is another 
uh, pivot lock knife. Um, both of those companies, Defcon has used or does use um, uh, CKO, and then the Truffles was done by CKO as well. Um, so they've gotten, you know, they've they've done a lot with the pivot lock system, um, which I'm pretty sure is why David went with them. Uh, fantastic action on this knife right out of the box. I've had absolutely zero issues with it. Detent is is good. It's not heavy. It's not light. It's kind of right there in the middle. And then uh, you can kind of adjust your your weight there. If you want to come down further on the blade, get a little, little bit of a lighter, you can. If you want to come up higher up on the blade and uh, have a little bit heavier detent, you can do that as well. So it is kind of a user adjustable uh, detent by just being able to go up or down that fuller. Um, you can use other fingers to release the blade. So I should have done the uh, five finger flick challenge with this thing. Um, cause you can certainly use every single one of your fingers. That was the pinky by the way. And, uh, uh thumb, <laughs> the thumb's on, it's the hardest for me. Anyway, um, a little bit more into the knife itself. So it is uh 4.4 ounces. So it's a little on the heavier side, uh, for the three and a half inch blade, but there is a, uh, a little bit more going on into the pivot system there. So it's not heavy. It's not a heavy knife. It's just you got a three and a half. Well, it's three point six inch blade and a four point four ounce knife. So again, not terrible. Um, I do not know the um, the HRC on the fourteen C, but uh, knowing David, it's it's done well. It's done well. It's done right. I, like I said, I've used the knife. Haven't had any issues out of it whatsoever. Um, you're looking at eighty nine dollars on this. So they are again. They are available currently. Uh, again, fully reversible, fully ambidextrous. Um, doesn't have any jimping on it, but the kind of the lock-in spot you're right here, you got that little ramp right there that works really well. And then if you do want to put your thumb out further, when you do lock it in, you're kind of pulling back on, you know, when you're pulling in your, your thumb is like locking in on the back side of this. So it works really well. I actually, yeah, I, I've always said that I would rather have no jimping than bad jimping. So I almost nowadays prefer to have no jimping on the knife whatsoever. Um, just because it seems like so few folks are able to get jimping correct and, and make it to where it's not, uh, you know, either a, a thumb shredder or just absolutely, you know, worthless. So again, I would just rather have it not there at all because aesthetically it makes the knife much better. Um, yeah, outside of that guys, this is pretty much the video. I want to do a quick, uh, cut test on it. Oh, oh, hold on. Let me get a spot of the paper that isn't all jacked up so there we go it is very sharp like i said i have been using it but if i'm holding my mouth right it cuts just fine um very 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 good blade um i've really enjoyed it a lot like i said i have carried it a lot this will be one of the few uh budget blades that survives the col the great collection purge of 2024 um <laughs> I've I've kind of made the decision to um, move the majority of my budget knives out of the collection and uh, keep a just a, a fair few of them in. Uh, I'll probably keep about ten or fifteen of my. Uh, it sounds like it sounds like it sounds it's it sounds like a lot, but compared to how many I actually have, it's uh, probably half or a quarter of my current budget collection. Um, so so far, I've made a pretty nice dent in them. Uh, so make sure you check my Instagram and my Facebook if you guys are interested in knives. Um, I've got I've, I've still got one, two, three, four, six. Yeah, I've still got six right now that are currently up for sale. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, so yeah, so uh, if you guys are looking for some budget bangers, uh, I, I've got quite a few. I think everything I have right now is under a hundred bucks. But uh, anyway, for the knife, uh, I, I think I am going to. Uh, take this thing apart. I might do another video taking it apart and just checking it out, uh, seeing what the internal workings look like on it. But, uh, I really, really, really do like this knife. Um, I've really enjoyed, uh, I currently have the Cetus and now the Aries. I, I wouldn't mind picking up one of his other designs. I can't remember which one it is. It's the larger of the two of his other designs. Uh, it's a button lock. I really like the looks of it. So maybe I'll pick up one eventually. But uh, with that, guys, uh, now one thing I will say is this one did have a little bit of button stick when I first got it. Um, it was probably just some oil because it did have quite a bit of oil on it, uh, but it has worked its way out. It's got just the slightest, 
slightest bit of button stick now. Only when I really rocket the blade out there that I really get any button stick at all now. So um, definitely one to look at. If you guys are looking for a kind of a, a, a really robust, you know, beefy knife that doesn't feel, um, you know, doesn't weigh you down. This is this is definitely it. You've got a super strong tip. You've got a really nice thin, a fairly thin hollow grind. Um, it is pretty slicey. Uh, you know, and then it's just, you've got a nice full size handle that's, uh, you know, doesn't, uh, you know, doesn't do anything super fancy, but you don't have any hot spots. It's, it's really made to put in some work. This is definitely a knife to pick up for, you know, for 89 bucks and, uh, you're helping out a, uh, a member of the community as well. So as always guys, I appreciate each and every one of you. Just remember to be kind, be humble, be EDC. Y'all take care.